Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day today. Today we're going to take a look at Chiji's response to the Ibanez AC guitar. This is a Chiji TM5. Let's go ahead, check it out. Yeah, what is this guitar that I'm holding? And let's talk about it because I think it's pretty cool and it's pretty stunning just to look at. Um, so like I said in the beginning of the video, this is basically Shiji's response to the Ibanez AC. And it's a very highly spec guitar that you can buy for a cost, or I, I should say for a fraction of the cost of what an Ibanez AC would run you for. I think those are about two grand, 2,500. Um, this guitar sells uh, new for $899 plus shipping. So very competitive with price. But I will tell you, it gets very, very close in terms of quality and features. And we're going to go over those. That's the first thing I want to do. Let's talk about the features. First thing we have is a one piece Okume. Okume, I have no idea how to say that, but uh, that's what we got here. One piece Okume body. Uh, we have this beautiful gradient purple quilted maple finish on it. Very nice. It kind of goes from almost a sand color to kind of like a pink salmon color. A little bit darker there and it just gets purple at the end. Um, they do this very very nicely the finish work is excellent we have a quarter sawn roasted maple neck and fretboard with abalone inlays look really really nice uh also talking about the neck we got to talk about those jumbo frets on it i believe they're jasker not stainless steel but very high quality and uh great fret work treatment on them as well we've got a bone nut it's got the shiji logo there and you can see we have some Shiji branded locking tuners. Got this axis joint, uh, lots of modern cutaways, tummy cut, you know, it's just very, very modern design. And then of course, I can't forget, we've got a two point tremolo with a brass block, which I'll show you better later on in the video. But uh, yeah, what I'd like to do now is I'd like to have Gabby uh, do some playing for us, kind of show, show us what this guitar is all about. I'll give you my final thoughts. We'll go over the guitar in greater detail and what I think about it and how it converts to the Ibanez. So let's go ahead and do it now.
we've heard the guitar in great detail. And uh, what I'd like to do now is kind of tell you my final thoughts. First off, uh, one of my favorite things about this guitar is just how stunning it is to look at. I mean, look at this, right? <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the nicest looking guitars I've seen ever. Um, they got this cream binding on it. The body is relatively thin. And just uh, the entire thing is just stunning to look at. Um, great fit and finish here. Uh, when you look at, I'm going to post some close-ups, but when you look at the routing work um, and how they treat some of the edges, it's all very, very clean, very pristine. And that's kind of what Gigi is known for. Um, the other thing that I really like about it is just the neck on it. It's the thin C neck from Shiji. It's very, very comfortable. And it just, I just love the way that it sits on my hand, right? So um, very, very comfortable. Um, the pickups are an interesting uh, choice. I think they, they have a very compressed sound. Now note that this one has the chrome covered humbuckers. You may have seen some other reviewers that have reviewed a model with exposed humbuckers. Uh, without any nickel or chrome covers. Um, that's because this is the first iteration of this guitar. And then for the second one, I guess they just took the covers off. They prefer the way that it sounds. Um, I will say, I, th I still think this sounds great. I don't know how much of a dramatic difference that will make. I do know that taking the cover off a pickup will make a difference in the sound and the way that it sounds. But uh, I think aesthetically, this just looks better. And that's why we decided to go for this. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, let's talk about how it compares to the Ebenezer AC. Um, so. I will say as far as the neck goes, this is going to be just a little bit thicker um, than the Ibanez AC neck, but not by a lot. Um, and then this is a thin C shape, whereas that one's a little flatter. I think it's more of a D shape. I can't recall right now off the top of my head. But uh, as far as like the specs and all of that goes, it's very, very close. Having a quarter sawn neck on it and fretboard, I think, is really impressive at this price point. Uh, the nut is cut very well. The electronics are super pristine, very, very clean uh, electronics work there. You have a big brass block on it. Uh, I'll put all that stuff up on the screen, but uh, it just goes to show that you can get great worksmanship without having to spend thousands of dollars. And if you're willing to invest a little bit more in a guitar made in the Far East, you're going to get more for your money. So I think that's just a general um, viewpoint for many people. They, they're, they're, um, they're held back by the thought of spending a thousand dollars on a guitar made in China because they just assume or they associate China with poorly made guitars. That's just not the case, but they've been offered to do guitars for pennies and you're only going to get so much for your money, right? But so if you invest a little more, this is what you're going to get. Um, and I think it's absolutely worth the money. Now, this is the third CG that we looked at um, in the channel before. We looked at the TM380 and the TMS. Um, this is a, kind of a different beast than those two. Um, it's the lightest of the three, right? So we've got this guitar is sitting at about six and a half pounds or something like that. Super, super lightweight, which I love, by the way. Um, the sound is more compressed. Uh, I would say that the TMS, which is the Swamp Ash model that we looked at, that's kind of a brighter, uh, almost harsher sound. And then uh, the TM380 has a more mid-focus sound. So if that makes any sense to you, <laughs> more compressed tone slightly harsher on the TMS and the TM380, you know, more mid-focused. There are three tonalities. Now, this one doesn't have the boost option that the other guitars do. Um, it has a coil split. I think the coil split sounds pretty good. I mean, we heard it in some of the clips, um, but you're never going to get like the true authentic single coil tone out of splitting a humbucker. It's just the way that it that it is, but this gets pretty close. So definitely a uh, welcome addition. I would have liked to see the boost on it, but it's not a big deal getting a lot of guitar for the money. Um, overall, my thoughts is this is great. If I had to pick between buying a $2,500 Ibanez AC or buying this with a proper setup, I'm going to go with this every single time, but that's just my opinion. You don't have to uh, uh, to agree with me, but I would highly recommend they check this out. You know, Give these guys a chance. They do awesome stuff. Um, totally worth it. That's it for the video. I hope you guys appreciate that. I've been Raf. You've been great. Please comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff because it helps a guy out, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.